YouTube friends, what's going on? DVD back with a brand new video. Today we're talking about the SLR Magic Variable ND Filter. Now I've used Variable ND filters in the past and I always recommend people if you can, use a Variable ND in run and gun situations or in an opportunity where, you know, maybe a map box doesn't fit you, uh, you really just need to screw it all on ND. There's plenty of brands that make Variable ND filters from your low budget $30 uh, Variable ND filters to like like your Tiffins um, and your, like your Schneider Optics, right? The more like $100 plus uh, Variable ND filters. I wanted to try out the SLR Magic one because obviously I've used plenty of SLR Magic uh, equipment. I've used their E-mount lenses, I've used their Micro Four Thirds lenses, which I still own, their anamorphic adapter, and I wanted to test out and see if there was any like color shifts with their Variable ND filter. Um, also, if I needed to have actually more than six stops as the Variable ND filter only goes from two to six, um, my other ND filters go uh, all the way up to a 10 stop. But usually when you go up to like eight stop or 10 stop is when you need to adjust your white balance because you start to get a color shift, right? Uh, your images start to get more more warm, more green, orange, brown, things like that. Along with that was the build quality. It seemed uh, from the pictures and from other reviews that I saw that it could be something a little bit more uh, durable and a little bit more long lasting than the uh, variable ND filters that I own. So to start off, let's take a look at the actual ND filter itself. It comes in a neat little box like this, pretty, pretty handy to you know, just hold your ND filter um, in. And then we open it up and we have I mean, nothing fancy, you know, it's just like the inside and then the ND filter itself. As far as the mechanics go, pretty cool little feature. It has this lever that, you know, doesn't, uh, it doesn't remove or anything like that. Um, but if you can, let's do this here. So I'm here right now, I am at a uh, wide open at a two stop. Uh, here, as soon as you start turning, you can see that the, uh, the ND starts to kick in all the way to six stops. I think this is a really cool way to adjust your ND um, because and typically with older ND filters or other ND filters, you have to, you know, put your hand around here somewhere and start screwing in. And sometimes when you're doing that, you can actually see your fingers, your hands in the shot. Uh, maybe you want that, maybe you don't. So I think this is a cool way of really just adjusting your, uh, your ND from two all the way down to six and then back open to two. This is the 82 millimeter version of it. Uh, I can see it from the front. It also shows, uh, let me see if I can adjust this. Uh, probably right there. Yeah, okay, so 82 millimeter. And then uh, it goes to like, you know, your minimum, uh, your minimum, I'm sorry, and your, and, your, and your maximum, which I don't know if that really helps because it's just from, from like one to 10 and you kind of know it's only a two stop all the way to a six stop. So in between is like, like your four stop, you know? This is probably more on the expensive end uh, compared to even like a Tiffin Verbal ND filter. Uh, this comes in at $169, maybe by used, uh, something like that. But let's see if there's actual uh, color shift using this ND filter. And then also the other question was, you know, do you need more uh, than six stops on a Verbal ND? Dancing all around. I woke up with a sunrise on the sea. It's such a priceless gift to me. The salty breeze and the waves. The slow pace. The salty breeze and the waves. I'm out of my place. So after a couple of tests, you can see that from two stop to four stop is a very, very little color shift. You know, you can see a little bit of the image uh, getting a little warm, not much. You know, you can easily dial that out with your temperature uh, gauges, whether you're in Lumetri or DaVinci or Final Cut. Uh, once you get to six stops, you do see a bit of a color shift. I don't think it's drastic enough um, to make like a, a huge, huge 
a deal or a huge difference uh, compared to some of the other ND filters that I have that once you get to like, you know, anywhere between like six and eight, then you can really start to see the color shift. And then at 10, like you really see the color shift. Now, do you need more than six stops on a variable ND? I think if you're always shooting in bright uh, sunlight conditions, maybe you're a travel, uh, travel filmmaker, uh, you're someone who's always in, I don't know, maybe like lush environments or uh, you're in the desert a lot and you typically film like late morning, afternoon time. Um, and during that situation, if you don't have a map box, you don't have uh, proper ways to like flag off and then you need your ND, I think having a 10 stop ND is actually more important than having a six stop uh, that can control the temperature and the colors a little bit more. But what I notice is for me, uh, if I go to six stops, typically it's better for me to stop down my lens. Say if I'm wide open at like a T 2.9 um, on the Fujinon MK, I might go down to like a four or a four, four or a five, six. And yes, I am losing, you know, a bit of shallow depth of field, um, but I don't think everything needs to be shot. Uh, wide open at, at, at like a 2.9 uh, or a 2 or a one eight. I feel like if you if you love SLR Magic as a company, as a brand, uh, what they offer, what they do, the quality of their products, and you have a little bit of budget to purchase you know, an additional Verbal ND filter, then I say definitely get this ND filter. But if you love your Tiffin Verbal ND, your Schneider Optics, um, you know, the, the plethora of Verbal ND filters, and you're like, Mm, I wonder if I need a new ND filter. I can honestly say at that point, you probably don't need another variable ND filter unless you use multiple cameras. Then, you know, you probably need two, maybe three variable ND filters. Well, that does it for me, friends. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, short review of the SLR Magic variable ND filter. If you have any questions, leave them down below, leave a comment. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel as always, just so you know if I have new content coming out. And remember friends, every day you have an opportunity to create your experience and to write and tell your own story. And uh, last but not least, I apologize for my shagginess and this is hot as fuck right now in California. Uh, so I'd rather just be comfortable and uh, get a piece of content out for you guys. Um, but that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.